Even though the former president has agreed to turn himself in, Governor Ron DeSantis said that Florida will not cooperate with any extradition request. At this moment, he's speaking to people attending his book signing right here in Tampa, but his reps say he will not be speaking publicly. Yeah, so there are still a lot of unanswered questions about the future impact this indictment could have and if the governor's move is even legal. 10 Tampa Bay's Malik Rankin spoke with a political analyst to get some answers. There's a lot of what ifs at play here when the governor said he would not lend a helping hand in extraditing former President Donald Trump. That'd only be relevant if Trump didn't turn himself in as he's expected to. But the United States Constitution requires that a state return fugitives that are fleeing justice or, or in, in outside the territory boundaries of the state within which it is um, has indicted individuals. It's Governor Ron DeSantis's constitutional duty as governor to assist in extradition, even if he disagrees with the charges. DeSantis tweeted calling the indictment un-American, saying, quote, Florida will not assist in an extradition request given the questionable circumstances at issue with this Soros-backed Manhattan prosecutor and his political agenda. If extradition was needed and DeSantis refused to help, New York officials could take him to court. Political science professor Dr. Jay Benton says an extradition is unlikely. So I ask, why would the governor make such an outlandish statement at this point about something like he's not going to do something uh, if, 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 if Trump returns, then there's no need. According to federal law, courts cannot look into the motives of the New York governor on this case, and the exceptions granted are few and far between. After extradition is granted, a court can consider release for specific errors, like if extradition documents aren't in proper order or if the wrong name is listed. In studio, Malik Rankin, 10 Tampa Bay. Despite President uh, Trump's indictment, even if he is convicted, he can still run for president.